Hello and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, we were playing around with a Mitsubishi Lancer and I got caught out with slick tyres in the rain. Um, we managed to still win... Race one. I still cannot do that it's low, low pitch voice. Anyway, oh, it looks like it's raining in this. I'm so glad I've got not got slick tires. Okay, uh, I've learned something here. Do not stay in the menus for too long because as the rain falls, it does start accumulating on the ground. So it looks like the track is mostly dry at the moment. So we're going to go for it. And then, obviously, as soon as it starts getting wet, we'll have to deal with it. Oh no, it's not raining. If it isn't raining, I can absolutely floor it. And hopefully be okay with it. Well, let, let's try and do that. Much as we can, fast as we can, pushing it as... really hard on the brakes there. Like that was foot to the floor break breaking. And for some reason I feel like my car seems to have a bit of traction control on. I'm not particularly keen on that. Is does it? Maybe. If I can get past this Lamborghini of Haywood, right here, oh, okay, and up the inside of the Audi, I was not intending to do that, but very well. Trying to make as many positions as I can before it starts raining, because it, it just looks like it's going to rain. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know what that lockup, who that lockup was from. This DB11 is going so slow. I do wonder how this racing is going to be when when Gran Turismo Sophie comes in. Let's get past both of these lots. Oh, yep, yeah, still breaking for turn one. Just a little bit difficult. 18 seconds to the leaders, or 19 seconds to the leaders. Closing in. They have just gone through. In fact, I can just see them in the distance, which is pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. Traction control is not on. That was interesting. R35 up ahead, that is going to be quick. 
not very engaging, but it's quick. And let's hope that, is that a Supra? I think that's a Supra in front of it, the, the new Supras. That seems to be holding it up quite nicely. So, I shall attempt to very, very gently squeeze past this. Yeah, you're not getting through that gap. I'll block you in, box you in with the Supra. Two blue cars working together. I say that as I go wide, but it's Gran Turismo, so it's fine. Next up, ooh, fast slap is mine. Next up, Impreza. Ooh, why did you slow down so much? Like, it just kept, and the brakes on that were insanely good. Uh, I just could not handle that rain. It's raining. Not good, not good. Not good, I'm in fifth place. I, there's two laps to go. It's just spitting, it's just spitting. It should be okay. I hope. Now the Impreza has its fog lights on. For some bizarre reason. In fact, I think I have my fog lights on as well. Judging by all, all the various different cars. Oh no, oh no. You're going to cut back on the inside, that's fine. That was my own fault, driving error. I just need second here, I think. Well, I mean, first if I can get it, but second is, is going to be ideal. I still have two laps to go though, and I can see the leaders. Give the Impreza some room. And clear. There we go. Two laps, three cars. That cost me though. That fighting did cost me. Oop. Slight, slight slipperiness. Gran Turismo's wet weather is incredible. It truly is. I'll just break a little bit earlier here. I really do not want to mess any of this up. So there's an Impreza, and then there's a... Sorry, not an Impreza, a Supra. Some white car in front of that. No idea what that white car is. Oh, it's a RX-7, and then in front of that is a blue. Is that a NSX? We've got quite a, we've got quite a set of cars here fighting for, fighting for the win, and that Supra is is closing up on them, and I'm closing up on the Supra. Well, a little. This is going to be a tough battle. Maybe I can only get third. I might only be able to get third here. Ooh. Wide. I'm just going to use all the track and everything, all the extra bits. This is the last lap and I mean, I, I caught up to them, but it, it, this is uh, difficult. Here we go. Come on. Okay. I just sort of made a gap there for me. Second could be possible. Yeah, let's bump into the back of the RX-7. I knew that was coming. I, I had a decision whether I should uh, avoid it, which, you know, would, would have been the smart thing to do. Or just for the heck of video, slam into the back of it. 
which was the more entertaining thing to do. This car is not... This car cannot brake as well as the other cars. I think third is all I'm getting here. Which is concerning because that means that I may be struggling in... I may be struggling in the other races as well. So that is a bit concerning. Now, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can here. Um, yes, okay, I'm, I've only done some miles on the car. I'm not very used to the vehicle. And obviously I'm not... I've done very few laps of this, this track. But it, it isn't a difficult track. Okay. Okay, okay. That is interesting. That is very interesting. It's 1.7. I mean, see, the thing is, is that, is that I started in 16th. And I think that's a little bit unfair, personally. Also, I noticed all the blue cars at the top. Yep. I've just got to make sure that I beat those two cars at the moment. If I do that, maybe we'll be okay. Let's uh, let's take some pictures, as usual. Although I'm not going to, I'm not going to do too much in the way of picture taking. I'm just going to let's, for example, just see if we can take one just here. And the reason being is that the Obviously, the the weather isn't great, so I'd rather uh, let's see. Now that could not that could work kind of well. That could work kind of well if I bring this close. No, that's not right. If I bring this further away. What I'll do is I'll just take one picture here as a potential for the for the race for the thumbnail sorry so if I do that uh, now do a hundred yeah a hundred works do that and uh, that um, do that. Sure, take the picture. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe nice. Um. Hmm. No. Just sometimes speeding that up does help. So a faster shutter speed means less blur in the background or motion blur as things are moving. Um. Something about that picture just does not does not work. Maybe maybe that Let's try Try that. That might work. The it it looks better. The composition looks uh, it's a little better. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not particularly happy with that. I'll be honest. Now I might be happier with that sort of picture. Let's see what that can do. Um, no, it's just something about it does is not just is is not working. Okay, well that's fine. Let's let's just uh, continue for a bit. I'll try and take one more and then move on. Ah. 
sure. Let, let's try uh, the DB9 and DB11 together. Um, back of the cars. Let's see. Just out of simple curiosity, it doesn't look like a very good picture, but let's just have a, a quick look. And actually, that has turned into a picture that is not too bad. That is really not too bad. Um, what I would do is... Actually, there's not much I would do about this one. Try and do that and, and see what... It says no target car. Oh, this is going to go badly. Because they're just going to zoom off. Yep. That was not what I meant. There was a target car, you just couldn't see it. There. Oh, that's not in the middle. I'm going to spend too long doing this. We've got to get to the next race. No, that will do. Uh, that that will do very nicely. Let's go ahead and save that picture. And that's that is all I'm going to take for now. We'll move to the next race. Uh, eight points. Next up, Suzuka. Five laps around Suzuka. Now I know Suzuka a lot better. Suzuka a lot, lot better than the Red Bull Ring, and it's sunny. So this could be, this could be good. This could be very good, and we're going to get nice pictures with the blue. Oh, that looks nice. Why did the auto drive take so long? And uh, the people that I'm fighting against are at the front. That's a bit unfair, I would say. Yeah, I would say that's a little bit unfair. Now, I know this track, so I should be able to really push it. But also knowing me, pushing it equals binning it. Oh, come on. This dodge is too slow. Here we go, past the dodge. I remember doing this in Gran Turismo 5 and that that was the first time I saw this track in sort of high definition. In fact, similar to, in a way, to this. And I saw the track in high definition and I thought, wow, uh, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue actually was what I was in. As you can see, I'm really pushing on this track. Um, I know the track, I'm starting to to understand my car, so there is that too. So all I've got to do... The, the problem is, is that how am I supposed to catch up to the to the front runners? Oh, a bit of understeer. Come on, up the inside of this. Oh dear. Oh, no you don't. No you don't, no you don't, no you don't. See, all the cars are in the same order as before, which is just annoying, which means that the NSX, and they're up at the front, the Imprezas, the, the Supra, the Oryx 7, whilst I'm sitting back here 36 seconds behind the leader. They're, they're already past the start-finish line. I just think that is incredibly, incredibly unfair. Yeah, that DB11 went so slow through those. I, I braked so early. Thirty-four seconds I've got to somehow make up. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, I'm just not sure. Just not sure how how I'm going to manage that. And obviously, though I know this track, 
I'm not going to say I'm an expert at it, nor am I an expert at, or with, with this car either. Um, so there is that to bear in mind. So, Porsche and there's that R35 again. Let's try and get past, right, all four of those cars I've got to somehow get past in this, in this lap. At least. Yep, all four of them at the very least. shove past one. Right. Oh, this is a bad spot. That's just really bad. I'm going to push that car through. Yep. Go, Alpha, go. It was, it was either that or I stay behind them all constantly and it's like a, a Nürburgring track day without... No, no, you don't. I'm going up the inside here. There you go. Twenty-six seconds, so I'm taking out about ten seconds a lap, it seems. Which I don't think is enough. That means next lap will be fifteen seconds. Lap four will be five seconds. Uh, can that be done? It's all too late on the brakes there. I'm not sure that this can be done the way they're they're thinking. So twenty two seconds, if I can bring that down to twelve seconds, that will be a big deal. That result, that really means I need to get past this Supra right now, which I have. That's not bad. That was actually a fairly decent overtake. Uh, probably the one decent overtake of, of this, uh, this race. That didn't involve me trying to push a car around. 21 seconds. Still trying to push this car as much as I can. There's the Impreza. That Impreza is very, very good at braking. But the question is, is how good is it when it comes to things like the hairpin? And the acceleration on it is not that good. I'm on the wrong side for this, but I should be able to push all the way in, which I could. There we go. 21 seconds. I'm, I'm not. I'm not making up the time. I'm just not making up the time anymore. Although the one that's in the lead is a different car. I do not recognise that. Uh, I do not recognise that particular um, name. That wasn't the one in the RX-7, was it? Yeah, 21 seconds, I mean... I should, I should have been at 12 seconds for this one. It's a bit too early on the brakes there. Trying really hard, but... There we go. 20 seconds. Uh, it's another fastest lap though. Can I bring this down to a few seconds? Nineteen seconds, I can see some cars up ahead. That's fourth right here. So that Impreza is in fourth, which means the, the cars that I'm fighting are still ahead of me. That, 
just I just feel like that is not a fair this is not a fair fight but there we go I'm still going to try it's like an underdog story 17 seconds Right, that's fourth, so at least I've got that. And how far? I can, again, I could get to second. Now, if those two are the cars I think, that might, might just work. find out. 16 seconds is just not enough. Hmm. 8 seconds to get to second place. That That's also... And who is that guy? That person in, in first is just gone. That was probably the best I'm ever going to get 130R. Let's second and third fight. They are the two cars I'm fighting, isn't it? No, I don't think they are. I think one of the cars I'm fighting is, is, is gone. Long, long gone. But that NSX is one of them, so at the very least, I guess I've got to go and fight for for that position. Should I be able to? I mean, there's probably a way to do this where you just put on, you know, like slick. You put on completely slick tyres or something, and then just just go, or something along those lines. Or perhaps there's a car that you can pick that will allow you to very easily do this. As you can see, I, I am not giving up on this. Every point matters here. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, and I have set the fastest lap. So it isn't that I'm going slow. I am setting fastest laps. I am pushing this car to its limits. As you can see, and beyond, but that's it. That's, that's all I'm going to get, it's fourth. Well, we'll, we'll continue the, the racing and We'll do the entire championship, and I'll have to have a look and, and figure out what what it is that uh, I I did wrong, really. Now, I am there. You go. I mean that that was me pushing as much as I could. Could get some good pictures though. That that's that's always important. Always important. Yep, yeah, I think I've lost this championship. Uh if I win the next race then huh. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure I can do this. Oh well. Picture time. It's always good. Actually, that, that picture right there was worth it. Not that one, where is it? Where's it gone? 
just change the camera on me. Just change the camera on me. Um, it's a fairly close picture. It was actually, it wasn't a fairly close picture. It was taken from a distance away and then zoomed in. That's what it was. There we go. Uh, 130 perhaps there we go that should do that's right there let's see let's see what's uh, what we get a bit too much glare but otherwise I think that's pretty good so I'll just reduce the glare once again at minus 30 and then C. Much better. Take that as a picture. That could be the screenshots, but we're going to, there's a few other places I'd like to take pictures. I, I was really pushing this. I feel like doing it again, but you, you cannot. Is that going into... Yeah, we're going into Degna 1 here. Now you can see how much I was pushing that. Let's try and do... that. Perhaps from about there. This car is a very nice car. A very, very nice car. Oh, I forgot to do that on the on the last one. That's okay. Let's see how this looks. Um the grass looks weird. The grass looks very weird. I guess because it, it isn't actually doing the... Isn't actually doing the shutter speed in the, in the real fashion. Um, it's obviously simulated. So maybe that... That is why things look a bit odd with with motion blur. Perhaps, uh, I'm not sure. That looks okay. Take it. I shall take it. And I'd like one more from here before we get on with the next, uh, next race. Could be an interesting, an interesting one. Oh, we're right over the curb on that. Maybe not. That could be interesting. Um, something along these lines. There we go. Let's do that. Can I get that in view? I can. So if I do that and that, how will that pan out? I say that a lot, but this, that, and the other. Um, not quite the way I wanted it to. Perhaps the panning mode was wrong, which is highly possible. better. I'll take it. Okay, and that will do. Let's move on to the next race. Get this done and dusted. I have to essentially win the next race. There is no way I can win. There is no way I can win the championship without winning the next race. And what is worse is I do not know this track. Please do not be rain coming in. 
those yellow lights are really good. Oh, okay. They've got different lights. Oh no, they are really nice. Except my beams. Why, why is my beam indicator purple? Anyway, stop being distracted by that. Uh, unknown track. What do I do? What do I do? Unknown track. Um, well, I guess I'm just going to do that. What do we have coming up? A uh, crest? No, not a crest. Well, it was a crest. Uh, a tightish corner? You're breaking for it, so maybe... Okay, about 90 miles per hour. Fine. Ooh, that is not 90 miles per hour though okay so far so good uh, now where are we uh, down the hill ease off the accelerator no nope. keep it flat uh, can I go around the outside or, or the inside now of this Audi I can can I do the same to the Lamborghini Yes, no, yes, uh, yes, no, yes, yes, that, that's, oh, okay, maybe, nope, we can just about hold it there. Let's try and dive down the inside of the Aston. Uh, oh, this corner keeps going, this corner keeps going. Then it looks like a far chicane, maybe? Y yes, it is a far chicane. Oh, okay, not so far chicane. You can see that tightening. That helicopter is dangerously low. I feel like the uh, rotor clipped the lamppost there. Oh, too early on the brakes. That's okay, though. Oh, no, this is much tighter than I thought. 20 seconds to the lead at the end of lap one. I'm not sure what to make of this. No, that's tighter than I thought. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. That's lost me some time to the Porsche. 17 seconds. I'm not sure I can make this. Oh, this is that corner that's... Well, apparently you can take it to nearly 100, but that's okay. I think 95 is probably the speed I want. Uh, right, 16 seconds to the leaders. Maybe I can gain here because I seem to be good against the AI in this section. I say the AI was just the other AI, which really are not very good for stop. There we go. Oh, that, that poor Merc just got mugged. I need to dive down the inside of this Porsche. Oh, that's not good. That was not good at all. 14 seconds a year of this is not happening. Oh, that speed though. That speed there is what I need. That was dangerous. That was very dangerous. Right, 7th place, 11 seconds, lap 2, lap 3 now, we're we'll coming on to lap 3. 10 seconds, can I do it, is, is the question. This is a really nice track, I've got to give it to Gran Turismo for this one. Oh, except my braking, braking points in Gran Turismo are all over the place. You just cannot get them right, and that Porsche is is on my tail. Now that Porsche is really on my tail. One mistake and, and I'm gone. Come on, can I can I do this? can. There we go.
There we go. Still 10 seconds though. Managed to slow the car down. Oh, this corner's tighter than I thought. But again. Uh, can I go fair? I can go fairly fast through this one. Not so fast through this one. Okay, there we go. That will have to do. 9.4, Not entirely sure I can do this. As I said. And I'm not very good out of that final corner. I'm losing a lot of time. So, at this point, the... Yeah, Fraga is, is leading. That's the one who's going to win the championship then. Because even if they finish second, um, it, it isn't good enough for, for me to win. If I won. They are now second, though. That's, uh, that's good. I need to get past this car. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I have no time for this. I have no time at all. Oh, that was actually a really well done corner. One, two, and three? I think so. Seven seconds. 7.7. 7. There's the RX-7, though. Who's just made a mistake. That's good, because I needed to pass the RX-7 at the very least. And... Then, I need to take on this NSX. This is another one of my main rivals. So I'll take that. How is this on a track I do not know? I'm actually managing to somehow put in the lap times. That does not make sense. Not in the slightest. Right. Second place. I've got to beat second place. Now, my only option here is... Back second place into... Oh, but none of them are going to... Yeah, I've, I've not... I've lost this championship, that's for sure. Oh, stupid ABS. I just cannot... Yeah, that's that lap gone. I think it doesn't matter with... With Fraga. Um... ABS in Gran Turismo is does not slow your car down faster. It just I, I don't know, it just doesn't work. I do not think it works as as real life ABS does. Come on, I need to get past you again. There we go. Who knows? I may still now, I was going to say, I may still somehow manage to catch um, second place. I don't think that's happening. Well, remember, this corner's a bit tighter than you think. There we go. Oh, I could have caught. If I didn't have that mess up, I, I could have caught. And to be fair, that, that could be an important set of points as well. If I lose this by five points or something, then I'm going to be very, very disappointed. I think I've got third place, though. I think. There's that. I don't think I'm going to take any pictures on, on this particular uh, one, just to get this video finished. 
Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. No, I needed the. I needed to beat them. That would have got me two more points. No, that would have made me equal. No, because then they would have got the eight. That would have put me into third. That's really disappointing. That is really, really disappointing. I'm going to have to go back on that. I'm going to definitely have to go back on that. Um, I might do that as a Patreon video, actually, uh, some sometime in the future. But I think... Does it say win or does it say get in the top three? I bet you, I bet you this says get in the top three, doesn't it? Finish in the top three. Okay, well, I'm going to end this video by uh, opening this gift. Let's just get something out of this. And then I will make a Patreon video with, well, doing this race again. And then we'll come back and finish off. Did I actually get a substantial amount of money? No, not a substantial amount of money. Um... Oh, that was disappointing. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Gran Turismo 7. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Any ideas you could have. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this as a Patreon video. I'll go ahead and do this entire championship again. Try and make sure I get myself into the top three. And then from there, um, we'll just see. We'll just have to see. Uh, if you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below. And also on social media at LP on Instagram and Twitter. Lastly, there is a link to my Discord server. So do go check that out if you also wish to do so. That is all from me. And on that disappointment, I shall see you in the next video where the menu book will be completed. And we'll go back to the cafe and see what they have for us there.